What is going on monkeys? Today we're going to be going over my first place Bonnie deck profile from this weekend's store regionals. So if you guys don't know what the store regionals are, um, basically it's just a large scale local tournament, uh, not really a regional. It's uh, capped at 64 players. Um, I think last month you had to apply for them. So the stores had to apply and I think 32 stores in North America got them four of which were in Canada, which is where I'm from. Um, and then two of them from Toronto, which is where I'm from. So Kansan Games was the one that we went to. Shout out to Kansan. They're always hosting great tournaments, always got a lot of product. Great place to play for sure. If you're in Toronto, I'd say the best One Piece locals. So shout out to you guys. Always a phenomenal job. Um, the next one is at 401 in Toronto. If you guys are here, you definitely know 401 as well. Um, I did not get into that one, so I won't be playing it. So the Kansan one was the only one I played. Uh, I was lucky enough to win and I did play uh, Bonnie, as you guys I'm sure are aware already. So I played Moria all throughout set six. Uh, I think black was definitely the best color last set. Um, this set, I wanted to definitely try Bonnie because green was always my favorite color since OP1 uh, when I was playing kid. Um, but there was never really a good green deck up until now. So I'm glad that Bonnie is um, very viable. Uh, the reason I really played it for the Sword Championship was just because I knew that it would be the most consistent deck to play for the first week of the set. Um, I thought I'd have a really good chance of winning if I played this deck and clearly it paid off because I did win. Um, I'm not saying Bonnie's going to be the best deck for the, for the whole format because I truly don't know that. I, it may very well be, but um, as of right now, I'm still looking at other options like uh, Black and even Black Yellow Luffy. I, I, a couple people convinced me that, that that deck's pretty good, so definitely a lot of testing to do. It is just the start of the format, but let me just go over what I played in uh, my Bonnie deck here. So I'm just going to start off with uh, this, this card. Um, so I didn't play the Baby 5 engine. I think... I really didn't like it. Uh, I tested for almost a week, which is not much testing at all, but I tested for about a week and I didn't like the Baby 5 engine. I thought it was too clunky. Um, Baby 5 itself is only adding you uh, another Baby 5, a 2k Baby 5 Dofi blocker, the zero cost event, or the 10 drop Dofi. And literally the only time I ever want, the only card I ever want to see from it is the 10 drop Dofi. So I, I didn't I felt like it took up too much space. I could be playing way better cards. So I'm playing the full Supernova build. So this card was definitely uh, amazing because it gets me to all my Supernovas, which are very important in some matchups. Like uh, against Lucci, it's really important to see your Hawkins. So obviously this is a four of. Um, for 2Ks, I played three uh, Apus from the starter deck, four from the EBO one, and four uh, Ezos. So the reason I only played three of these was uh, over these was because this card has an effect that might come up, um, whereas this one you're literally never never summoning it. And then the Ezo, this card was super clutch. Um, I think in my last game I used it against a Luchi to rest uh, a Rebecca and swing for game. But I ended up playing in the tournament. I played four Luchis. It was six rounds, capped at 64 people. Um, there were 365 applicants. So it, like the, the Toronto scene is definitely um, crazy in terms of the amount of people that play the game. So 365 applicants, only 64 uh, lottery drew into it. And I ended up playing four Luchis, one mirror match and one black yellow Luffy. So uh, this card only came up in the Luchi match and it was, it was really good, but I, it's not searchable. It doesn't need to be searchable. It, it still comes up. I wouldn't cut this card down at all. Um, I think the 2k count was fine at 11. Uh, maybe you play 12, but I also do play zero cost events, which will come up. So I also played here. We'll start with this. Um, four Basil Hawkins. Uh, this card is absolutely insane. I always used to say that 8-drop kid was the best green card they ever printed, but I'm starting to believe that this is the best green card they ever printed. If you guys don't know what it does, um, it has an effect where if it would leave the field, you can rest one of your opponent's characters one time per turn to not make it leave the field. Um, meaning, if it dies by battle, it's going to die, but it has to be an effect. So if RP Law tries to bot deck it, you can rest something. 
Um, if Luchi tries to KO it, you can rest something. Uh, the only real way to get around this is rest all your characters and use RP Law's effect or uh, any blue spell after you've swung with all your characters because it can't rest a leader either. So if you swing with all your characters and play like Raging Tiger, this thing gets bot decked, which is pretty annoying. So blue is definitely a tough matchup. Um, I played three of the new Bonnies. Uh, this card I think is really good. The fact that it's a 1k counter is what makes it really good. Um, if it didn't have a counter, I definitely wouldn't have played three. But the fact that you can rest one of your opponent's Dawn is what's really good. Um, you can stop them from adding a Dawn the next turn. So this card has a lot of options, a lot of playability. The thing I did not like about it though, is if you don't have an Eroge setup or a Cavendish setup, you can't play this on five because you won't get your leader ability. So it, it makes it kind of awkward. You usually find yourself playing it on like 10 Dawn or nine Dawn, uh, this and another card, just to kind of stun them for a second. But it definitely is good. Um, I'll talk about later why I'd probably cut it to two, but three was good for the tournament that I played. And then we got four Cavendish. Uh, this card's insane. Effect is really good. I'm sure you guys know what it does by now. When on player, uh, when it attacks, it untaps two Dawn. So if it sticks, really good. Um, if it if you don't think it's going to stick, usually pair it with one of these cards on like your nine, eight, ten Dawn turn. And it, it it's just pretty good. Um, I wouldn't play less than four. It's, it's searchable. All these cards are supernovas. They're all searchable. So... And then the last one here is just the uh, Eroge. This card, when I originally saw it, um, I thought that it was pretty mid. Uh, I thought it was good, but not like crazy good. When I played it, I realized how good this card was. So it's just a blocker, and then at the end of your turn, you can untap one of your Dons. So this card is like super important. When you're when you're going second, and you go like on two Dawn, you play Bonnie, uh, you search for like this or this, and you have the other one in your hand. You can play this on four, and then on six, you can play this, right? You'd be tapped out normally, but the fact that you can untap your Dawn is, it's super important. Um, you can still use leader ability and summon a Hawkins on six. Same thing applies with 10 drop Dofi. Um, the most, the, the most, the biggest reason you don't want to summon 10 drop Dofi is because it obviously it's a late game card, but late game, if you don't have enough life, sometimes you can't summon it. But if you have this and Dofi, it, it makes it way easier to play it because you're going to get to use your leader ability. and. Your leader ability is really crucial um, in a lot of your matchups. It just goes without saying why it's so crucial, but uh, this card was just way better than I thought it was gonna be. Definitely would not cut uh, any of these other than the Bonnie. And then uh, lastly, this last pile we got here, just the kind of misfits. So we played three uh, Rosanantes, um, this card, obviously, I played it because I played 8-drop kid, which I'll get to, um, super good card, protects your stuff, goes without saying, not searchable, but still okay, uh, a lot of people ask me why I play the Bardo, it's basically a vanilla blocker, um, but the fact that it's 4k is why you play it, RP Law can't bot deck it, that's literally the only reason that you're playing this card, uh, I played three of the events, I consider playing two, uh, I wouldn't play two, it's, it's just necessary because you play a lot of non-counters. Uh, the effect is also kind of good. Um, it rests a four cost, the trigger, sorry. It rests a four cost or lower uh, on trigger. Um, sometimes it comes up, you can rest blockers, you can rest attacks. It's, it's just uh, it's a good card. And then I played uh, four Hody. Uh, honestly, second best card in the deck, maybe third best. Um, this Hawkins and Nine Drop Zoro are literally the best cards. Uh, this card single-handedly won me like two or three matches. Um, it is extremely powerful in the mirror match um, a lot of people don't know how to util utilize it properly um, the biggest thing that people forget about this card is that you can rest dawn with it so when your opponent plays uh let's say they play a hawkins on seven dawn they go uh hawkins leave a dawn up you can play this rest the dawn rest the hawkins swing into their whole board and they can't tap your other units because their dawn is rested uh, this card is crazy. Rest blockers. Then when they play double Sabo, or uh, like black, yellow, Luffy will play double Sabo on you and you play this. It's just, it's insane. Um, wouldn't, I was playing three originally. Uh, one of my friends told me to bump it to four and he was definitely right. 100% of four of one of the, if not the best card in my deck right now. Uh, I played three eight drops. Uh, goes without saying. I played three Dofies. I see a lot of lists playing two. Uh, I'm only playing three because... 
I'm not playing the baby five, so I can't search it. I do want to see it at least once a game. And then I played two um, nine drop Zoros. I, I'd say this is the biggest mistake that I made. <laughs> after playing the deck um, at the tournament and playing, testing with the deck after, this card needs to be at minimum three. I, I want to play four of it. It's just, it's not searchable. It's not a supernova, which kind of sucks, but it is literally the best card in my deck. It wins me uh, like every single matchup that's not uh, black, like Lucia or Gecko. Because as soon as this card is dropped, if they don't have enough, they're going to lose the game. Like there's no way that they're not losing the game while this card's on board, especially if you have like Hody in hand or something. Um, originally I was playing three and I was playing two eight drops and I cut one Zoro for an eight drop because I was having a hard time in the mirror um, they were dropping 8-drop kids on me and I couldn't really out it because I wasn't playing 8-drop at all. And so I cut, I was playing 4 Zoros. I cut to 2 and I ended up uh, cutting more pizza and added um, the kids in. The logic being 8-drop kid kind of helps in the mirror, um, helps in the rogue matchups, like auto wins the rogue matchups. But um, it was also BY Luffy was a problem. So... 9-drop Luffy auto wins against Black Yellow Luffy if it sticks. 8-drop Kid also wins against Black Yellow Luffy if it sticks. So it felt okay to cut the Zoros to add the 8-drops. The but honestly, um, after looking at everything and after playing a lot more with the deck and understanding kind of how it works, I think um, this card has to be at minimum 3. So I, I think I'm probably going to cut the 8-drop Kids. Um, and one card that I really want to talk about was uh, more pizza so it's the it's the one cost event bonnie event and it, all it does is it's the uh, bonnie ability it just searches the top five for a supernova i think i'm gonna start playing two of that card again because i really did miss it um the luchi matchup yeah i, I beat four luchis um i'm not gonna say that the luchi matchup is easy because it's not um i'm gonna say that i beat four luchis because we're in a new format. A lot of people are, are getting used to the deck. Um, the reason I didn't play that deck is because I think you need a lot more testing on it than people will give it credit for. But a lot of people want to play black right now, so they'll jump right into it. No fault in doing that. But the more pizza card was just... There's a lot of turns early where you don't open Bonnie in a lot of games, obviously, because it's just a four of in your deck. Um, so on your two dawn turn, one and two dawn, you're not doing anything. And if you don't open the uh, Eroge, you're, you're literally not doing anything on four either. So you're just swinging uh, like eight at them, swing nine at them, pass or, or whatever it is. And that feels kind of shitty. So having the more pizza to search out a Basil Hawkins or whatever it is, like you need to see this card against black. Uh, it makes the matchup infinitely easier. If you can drop two of these on them, it's very, very hard for them to win. And if you're playing six searchers, it's significantly easier to see those um, those Basil Hawkins and those cards that you need to see, right? So I think ultimately, um, I'm not sure if I cut the eight drop kids completely, but I definitely cut a Bonnie down to uh, to two, no less than two though. I really did like the card; uh, comes up a lot. And if you can double Bonnie them, it's it's pretty cool. But um, definitely cut the kids, maybe to two, cut a Bonnie and play two more pizzas. Um, but again, that's where the zero cost event comes back up because yes, I'm cutting this Bonnie, which is a counter. Um, but I always feel like I have enough counter, but yeah, deck was really good. Um, my hardest matchup was the mirror. Uh, the guy that I played against played it really well. Um, he ended up dropping a nine drop Zoro and I didn't have one. Uh, I somehow managed to win, but it was, it was Hody that ended up winning that game for me. I think I dropped two Hodies and rested his Dawn both times and just kind of clear board the first one and then kill them with the second one. But yeah, the deck is the deck is really good. Um, I don't think green is a very easy color to play. A lot of people just think, oh, this, this leader is really easy to play. Let me pick it up, let me play it. But um, it's definitely okay to start with, but the, the ceiling's pretty high. Um, knowing when to play your cards, knowing when to take your life, I think is the biggest thing in this deck. And you can definitely afford to take a lot of life. Like when I was early, when I was playing it early, I'd see Hody Jones in my hand and say, okay, I can't take as much life this game because I have Hody and I wanna play the Hody, right? But that's not actually the case. Um, you can definitely take life and play the Hody. You almost, you if you're, especially if you're not playing against blue and they can't putting you, you have like, the, when I played against the black yellow Luffy, my board was like eight drop kid, eight drop kid, Rosanante, Dofi, Hody. 
and he had three life and he's like how many cards do you have in hand i'm like 14. he's okay yeah you got it you know like you just you always have so many cards in hand you're never really um in lethal range so taking your life is definitely something you should do there's a lot of times where i have hody on the board and they're they swing five at me and i and i take it like uh, i'm not gonna block with this and like, if they have another unit they can swing with i'm not gonna block with this so you can swing into this or even swing at my life i'll take both like it, it's completely fine but definitely would recommend trying out the deck. Uh, I think it's great, especially in the beginning of the format. Um, I'm sure it will be great later too. Uh, just need to figure out some of the matchups. Uh, the blue matchup feels really unwinnable sometimes. So definitely might have to tech some cards in for that. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, definitely try it out. Let me know what cards you guys are playing. If you like the Baby 5 engine, maybe I should give it another shot. But yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.